Morning. This is Jerry, the disgruntled citizen, but I've got a new name for you. The patriotic disgruntled citizen. I'm standing here with uh, Matt Gettler, uh, him and his partner Jeff Stone of Quality Land Management. has taken care of the uh, uh, township mowing and building maintenance on the inside uh, for approximately the last three years. Um, new administration uh, has seen fit to hire new contractors for both of these services and the gentleman and his company were not provided with even an opportunity to bid on the contract. Now I'm just going to speculate that this might be because they were hired originally by the, the by the Milky administration and not afforded the chance because they were hired by Mr. Milky. But uh, uh, Matt, um, tell us a little bit about the history of you getting involved with Keynes Township uh, from the start and what you've experienced so far up, up to date. Uh, my partner and I, Jeff Stone, um, was awarded the contract to take care of the lawn mow, snowing, and the built cleaning the building twice a month. Mowing once a week and snow plow as needed and salting as needed. Um, we also gave extras to the township uh, Weed and feed twice a year at no cost, uh, edging the concrete at no cost, and spraying the weeds and the, con the concrete and the, all the parking lot spaces at no cost. So you did many things in in the in, in this contract time frame that actually saved us as taxpayers a lot of money, and you absorbed the cost into your business. Yes, we did. It's about just fifteen hundred a year is what we figured it was, and that was just so you could provide professional service. And, and keep the cost low to, to a township that's already struggling with their finances. Correct. I mean, we basically, we, we take care of our customers from A to Z, however it needs to be taken care of. It's not just pinpoint certain people. Extras are extras. I mean, in some cases, you have to provide a service for a, a dollar amount to. Sure. We didn't because we, we enjoyed working for Chuck Milking and their administration. And the people that like to come out and see how we did a nice job and said, hey, you guys did a great job. Now, speaking speaking of, uh, of of that communication aspect, in in your time of service to the township, was there any complaints by the township? And if so, who who did the complaining, and and what were they for? We never had a complaint, a verbal complaint, a written complaint, a call on the phone complaint. Nothing that we have. And it would be public record if someone would have it, and it's not, we've exactly. never, never been notified. And the new administration, not a phone call from the new supervisor, hey, I'm so-and-so, you know, I'm going to be the new supervisor, I'm part of the circuit, nothing. No, nobody has contacted us for anything. But yet they won't let us rebid and don't ask us to rebid their thing. All they do is complain behind our backs on board meetings. So you never got any notice at all, because I understand that your, your contract was up a, a few months back, and at that point it was a month by month and then but but no contact whatsoever from the present administration that we're opening this up for bids again and we'd like you to bid Nothing. on we it. don't you know we, we have still haven't even been told we were fired yet who who has from from the present board the the Fortino administration who has contacted you about absolutely anything and I mean that could be code enforcement officer, the supervisor, the, the secretary, who has contacted you and what for? Three weeks ago, Matt, the code enforcement, uh, I guess he's a new new person, I've never met the man, Correct. called my partner Jeff and said he had two uh, uh, obnoxious weed places he needed to take care of. He gave us the addresses, a day later we told him we'd go the next day, he went and took care of one of the obnoxious weed control uh, built, uh, properties. We went to the other one up on Nichols Road, Properties haven't been mowed in five years. Right. We have never been contacted about that. There is vehicles parked all over the place. I think there's at least five. The grass is about seven to eight feet tall, all the way around the entire building. It's not something you just go in and mow it. You need a brush hog with it. And there's no nobody could tell us the exact qualified boundaries of this property. As of this three weeks ago, this Monday, Matt finally called my partner back, Jeff, and said, would you guys decide about this Mullins property? Jeff said, we called you three weeks ago. We were on the site. On the same day, uh, trying uh, to get back in touch with correct. Matt. Okay. Three weeks later, he calls us finally back and wants to know if we're going to mow it. And we said, no, we're not going to mow it because we're, we're understanding you're rebidding all this, pro all this work out. 
Why are we going to do We don't have a contract with you. So if we bid it or we go and, and, and give you a price on it, now we got to wait and see if you're going to take it or not. Your new company is going to take it now, obviously. Now, has, has anybody else uh, uh, on, on the board, whether trustee or uh, office personnel, ever contact you guys in your tenure of, of your contract with them? No. We have not been contacted by any of the other board members at all. The only person we I have talked to is over a check issue, which was Mike Dollar. And Mike got the check situated, it was like 15 days late, and never heard back from Mike, left the voice 15 days late, but your invoice is rounding in on time. My invoice is on time. they just waited to pay you yes, for it. Was. Yeah, well, that's, 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 that's not surprising. Um, cleaning of the, of the office building itself, um, that, that was part of your contract, which I, I find uh, is kind of unusual for a, a lawn care company to have that kind of a contract, but we've got to be versed in many areas nowadays. Um, just what was the situation with that? What did they require you to do uh, for that service? They wanted us to room the auditorium twice a month. So the beginning of the month, the end of the month, we cleaned the building. Twice a month to sweep the floor in that? Swept the floor, we did. Cleaned three bathrooms, cleaned the toilets, cleaned the floors, cleaned the sinks, cleaned the mirrors, um, changed out all the paper towel, changed out all the toilet paper. If there was any soap that had to be filled, we could fill the salt. Typical cleaning then of an office building. Exactly. Yeah. Which I don't believe is, is, is adequate for that building. You have people there every day in and out of the bathroom. That they're going to the bathroom. It should be cleaned every day or every or at least once a week. Right. But someone's going there every two weeks or three weeks to clean a bathroom. <laughs> I mean. I wouldn't go in there. I, I wouldn't either. I mean, you should see some of the mess they've Now, what, what about uh, uh, the, the general office, such as uh, carpeted areas, dusting of desks, uh, uh, blinds or, or anything like that? Was it windows? Was any of that a requirement? It was not in the contract. When the new administration came up, they took a clip and, and a piece of paper and put it on a file cabinet and said, this is what you're, this is what you're supposed to do. We're not supposed to walk around, look at papers and so forth and flip papers over. They so, don't want to even told us where this, this was. So being a professional in that service, you knew what had to be done to clean that office, but they went ahead and just made up a little checklist of the things that they needed done, stuck it in the file cabinet and said, there's our guidelines. Just but we never just told us never told us that that was their guidelines. That, that's, the, that's the part I don't understand. Like I said, we're not going to go flipping over papers looking for our job of duty, but the new administration hadn't contacted us and said, hey, this is what we expect out of this new contract. Never got a contract. Never even got a, hey, we're the new people in town. Yeah. Nothing. And, and we're finding out that that is how uh, the Fortino administration for the last several decades has operated. And it, it's a shame that Mr. Milky uh, was voted out on many false pretenses on that. Um, but how Ms. Mr. Gatling's being, Gat, Kettler, I'm sorry, is being treated is no different than the citizens of this township. Unless you're a family friend, a crony, or part of the good old boys network. And I think you'll find that our new lawn care contract, Matt, has gone to a friend. And, uh, and I'm going to say that. I think it went to a friend, a uh, supervisor of a, another township, uh, Burt's. So, you know, take that for what it is, folks. But uh, I want to commend this man in the service for sticking with it as long as what they did through all the, all the BS that, that he had to put up with and his company had to put up with and unlike the Fortino administration he saved our township money by throwing in things just to keep it safe there to keep it right and to do the job right not wasting our taxpayers dollars the way that it's being done now and for our township officials not to even offer this man a chance to bid on that contract shame 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 because if you play you pay all right I'm out, Matt. Uh, that's good. I, I appreciate it. Anything I, I can ever do, uh, any of us do, let us know and uh, give yourself a terrific day. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. much.